Hope you're doing good. I'm back with another session of SAP PTP Cloud. And today we are going to learn about DevSpace, HANA Instance, and HANA Cockpit. Well, how to create a DevSpace, how to create HANA Instance, how to assign resource groups to the HANA Instance, how to set up a DBA user and other users, how to log into the HANA Cockpit and start and stop and monitor our HANA Instance. Also, we're going to learn about um, uh, SQL statements and, um, and development projects as well. So let's start. After logging to your HANA trial account, this BDP uh, uh, trial account, you will see this uh, dashboard here where uh, you will see Cloud Foundry environment, Kaima environment, entitlements. So below that, you will see spaces. If you want to create your own space, so you can click on create space. I don't want to create another space here because I have already created two spaces. So one is Dell and another is Vistwiser. So um, it will take more time that I don't want to spend more time here on this video. I just want to cover as much as I can because I have uh, I have more videos in pipeline. I have to you know complete all the tutorials as per my agenda, as per my coursework. So um, if if you want to create, all right, guys. So our instance is started, and now I'm going to. You log into the HANA cockpit. Before that, I just want to change some IP configuration. So I believe there is a default BTP IP assigned to this uh, instance. So I just want to change it to all IPs. So we need to click on the manage configuration here. Then scroll down, uh, click on edit. Scroll down here, a little bit scroll, yeah. Let me just choose the allow all IP addresses, allow IP addresses, specific IP addresses and IP range in addition into BDP, no. Just want to, you can see uh, memory, storage, CPUs, and uh, yeah, here's the user, DBA admin. Size is the availability zone. I have not adopted any replicas here. Connections, all hello IP addresses, advanced settings, upgrade with restart, upgrade without a restart. So click on save. I'll click on instance, go back to the instance, log into the cockpit here. I just uh, updated this and then uh, it's just uh, starting it again. Uh, we need to wait for a while. All right, it's uh, running now. You can see USA demo running and then click on open in the HANA cockpit. Now, previously we used to get the error. So when instance was not up, so you can see this monitoring dashboard here. So instance is up now. You can see everything here on this dashboard used memory, resident memory, manage services. You can see, you can manage your services. So you can see uh, our NAM server, compile server, index server, DP server, everything is here. So process ID, everything. And you can click on the go to the alerts. So there is no alert right now. 
So I'm going back, going back. Now, what we can go, what we can see is that we can just uh, click on replicate here. So, but I don't want to create any replication here. So active threads is 29, total sessions one. And now I just want to go show you uh, this SQL console. So this is our SQL console here. You can, you can write your SQL statement here and you can see catalog adapters and uh, agent groups, agents, column views, cubes. And this is all for like, uh, if we want to uh, go for some kind of modeling, modeling can be done. And um, as, uh, as per this, if you were to write any SQL statement, you can write it here. So you can see there's nothing right now available. So I just want, I don't want to spend much time on this. So if previously we use, we saw that uh, we didn't saw anything like this. We saw that there is an error actually uh, when we used to go to this uh, segment here so because instance was down, instance was not up. So now I have started the instance and everything is visible here. So this is all about uh, for, for the today's session. And uh, I'll be back with the, another session where I'm going to create a project and uh, we will also cover uh, users, how to create uh, users and user groups and as well, how to assign privilege to users as well. So uh, before before actually um, wrapping up this video, I just want to stop. I want to show you how to stop uh, the instance. So let's go back to our instances dashboard. So click on actions here and now click on stop. So click on stop. Now you can see here, USA demo stopping. So it's stopping right now. So guys, this was all about this uh, tutorial. So um, I have uh, actually to cover all uh, other videos for all my uh, uh, tasks. Uh, actually, uh, whatever I have uh, mentioned it in my previous video. So the workbook is, uh, I can say that uh, task list and the agenda is covered in my first video. So if you want to, uh, you know, learn what uh, learn about all the activities, so what we are going to do with the BDP, you have to watch my first video. So you will get the idea like what we are going to do in, it, in this uh, whole BDP tutorial. So this was the another phase and uh, this was uh, the second video where I uh, actually mentioned what I'm going to do is like create the deal space, create the HANA instance, stop, start instance and uh, show you how to create users, how to assign resource groups, how to see the SQL uh, statements. So this was all about this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks and uh, do not forget to subscribe this video. So you can st you can see uh, USA demo stop now the instance is stopped. Thank you, thank you very much.